Load up, Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? In celebration of all the new Dark Eldar that's coming out, I thought I'd show you some Savage Orcs! What? Hey, be quiet, Flemeth. I'm talking. Okay, Savage Orcs, let's get through it. This is a unit of five Savage Orc Boar Boys. I finished painting them all up with a crystal weapon theme. And I also gave them some tattoos that are... You can find them on online on the GW website. Let's see if we can get... How close we can get in. I've used blue, red, and white for the tattoos. And I think they came out pretty good. I also painted the boards, as you can see, brown fur and warm flesh for the skin parts. And I based using some clump foliage right there at the front and on the left side, as well as some GW scorched grass right over there. So. I thought I'd paint these guys nice and bright. I mean, they're just, you know, like a harassing unit. I'm, I would probably be using them as a flanking unit just to scare my opponent. But really, you know, I don't really play as much as I used to just because of all the different things I've got going on in my life. But this is a great way to let off steam, just paint a little bit each night, get these guys up, even if, you know, even if I never end up using them. It's on the table, it's it's good to know that I still can can paint. You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys know what I mean. Um, so here is an example of the white tattoo, along with the blue for the face paint, and red over here on the uh, on the right leg to do the dags. Sorry, this camera isn't as good as my um my other one, which I don't have right now. But you can kind of get a good sense for these guys and the the motifs tying them together, like the boars also have face paint and they paint their tusks too. And here's a shaman, the old metal figure, because this was back before Citadel Fine cast was announced. So he's the old metal shaman, really heavy. I dropped him twice already and he popped off his boar. So I had to glue him and super glue him and pin him back and everything so hopefully you'll stay this time but great model lots of detail with the bones and the feathers and everything and the tattoos sculpted onto his back really good stuff okay so here's my unit of five savage orcs with spear shield and accompanied with the great uh, accompanied by shaman and right behind them, let me move these guys out of the way, I've got the first rank of my horde of savage goblins, uh, savage orcs, sorry, on foot. It's hard to do with one hand, and I don't have a tripod. And what I've done is I've got four boxes of these guys built up, just haven't you know, I haven't painted them or, or, or based them yet except for this one rank. But my my goal when I was building these guys was I didn't want any one of them to look the same. So I took their bodies and I gave them all different heads with all 40 of these guys that, that I'm going to have. I gave them all different heads and I gave them different weapons. So every time I saw the same body types, I would give them a different head and then on those two body types I would give them different different weapons for each hand and so you'll really be able to see it once the the whole unit is up and built but here's a little look at it and here's my musician Zaga de Bongo player and he was able to get first place in my local painting competition so really happy about that he got 12 votes and second and third place got five each so I'm really happy with him, and I'm going to see if I can bring the same standard across to the rest of my guys. But doing 40 is going to be a lot, and I'm probably going to do some guys on a 
on one of these or a bunch of these regimental bases. I'll paint them up off the base and then just pop them on because it's a lot easier doing it that way than gluing them on and then painting them. And these are a lot harder to find now than they used to be, but you can order them off of GW. I was able to get a whole bunch of these regimental bases for really cheap and um, I guess they used to they used to sell them in packs um, just by themselves these regimental bases and so I was able to get a good deal from somebody who was not into the hobby anymore. Anyways, running a little bit long so hope you guys enjoyed. Have a happy Savage Orc Saturday and I'll see you in the next one.